Hi guys, I'm Darren and this week we're having a drag race. So recently I've had a couple of videos out where we've been doing a lot of work on a transmitter. So we've been updating OpenTX and we've updated the multi-protocol module but there's other things we do like we install lua scripts in particular i'm thinking like the the yapu uh horus mapping widget however all things are created equal i mean this radio here has a micro usb or a mini usb sorry it's even older um so we're guaranteed that this is running at usb 2.0 speeds uh, other transmitters do have a usb c connector which USB-C we know can use USB 3.0, 3.1, which is a faster USB protocol. However, I've looked on the manuals for Radio Master TX16S, also the uh, X20, and it mentions that nowhere. It just mentions that it's a USB-C connector and that it can handle enough power for um, recharging the internal batteries. Uh, but it doesn't mention the actual transfer rates, whether it's USB 2.0 or USB 3. So it could be that they're, if they've got a USB-C connector, they may be faster, but I can't actually see anything to suggest that. It seems like they're just using a USB-C connector, but yet the data is still using USB 2.0. I could be wrong on that. So again take these with a pinch of salt if you've got USB-C it may be faster on the transmitter I've not done the test yet I don't know what the results are going to be um, but for my SD card the only adapter I have for SD cards is actually a USB-C adapter and I believe this is running USB-3 so potentially this could be faster and I may well run the test a third time on my laptop which has just got a standard socket on the front for an SD card adapter so that's most likely using USB 2. So what we'll do, we'll do three tests. We'll do it on the transmitter, see how long it takes. We'll do it using this adapter straight to the SD card. And we'll also do it using my laptop. Um, again, the laptop is a different specification computer, so that could come into it. But yeah, let's see how it goes. What I'm going to do is download the SD card contents for this transmitter from OpenTX and that's what we'll be transferring across. So let's get started. Okay, so before we start with the testing, I thought I'd show what the uh, actual memory cards are. These are Samsung Evo Plus with a read speed of around about 100 megabytes per second and a write speed of around 20 megabytes per second. So just in case people wanted to know what I'm using, this is what we're using. Both cards are identical, both 64 gig. And also while we're here for the adapter, you can see it is micro straight in. There's no other adapters. So let's get to actually testing it. So I've downloaded the files and this is the folder right here. So you can see it's 144 megabytes. That's what we'll be transferring today. So let's get this adapter plugged in. Okay, so let's copy the files. Three, two, one, go. So we're looking at about 33 seconds there. You would have just watched that with a sped up timer. I obviously can't see that at the moment. I'm adding it in post, but on my uh, phone, I've done a, a stopwatch, so I can see it's around 33 seconds. So what I'm going to do is actually wipe that off so I can reuse that in the um, the laptop. And actually, should I just use the same card for all tests? That will probably make things more convenient. So what I'll do, seeing as I'm wiping this off, I will stick this now straight into the uh, transmitter. So yeah, this might be a bit boring, but um, I just want to show I'm actually doing it. So I've just done that test, taking it out. I figured using the same card would be more consistent than actually using two of the same type of cards. So let's just do that instead. Bad radio dense data. There we go. Return out of that. So we've got fresh SD card, absolutely nothing on it, no models. So let's get it plugged in. 
so here we have it so we have our usb drive this is the horus so i'll just reset my stopwatch and let's go three two one go So we've just gone past the 33 second mark and you can see there's still absolutely loads to copy across on the transmitter. I will keep it going uh, just so that we can see how long it actually takes. But with five minutes to go, it's already pretty apparent that using the USB-C adapter um, on the computer is certainly faster. However, I will test it on the laptop just to see if that's the USB free part that's speeding it up. Okay, so there we go. That one took about six minutes and six seconds. So we can see it's massively, massively slower to do it with the SD card still in the transmitter. Again, maybe this is different on transmitters with a USB-C connection. It depends on how they've wired it inside. But finally, let's just delete this, which is probably gonna take ages because it's over that connection again. What I'll do is I'll do this one last time from my laptop, which will have a slower micro SD connection. So I'll just go grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, so apologies for the ropey, um, set up here i don't actually have uh, any recording stuff set up on here but what i thought i could do is actually put the timer there as well maybe but anyway we have the sd card and i'm using the adapter that actually came with it uh, so again brand new adapter and there we go right so this may be a little bit of a pain um because i need to start the timer and use a trackpad at the same time but let's give it a go all right three two one go so now we're at the point where the usb-c had finished um but even so Taking the SD card out seems to be a hell of a lot quicker, regardless of whether you're using a old um, SD card ad ad adapter or a newer one. So it does look like using the USB cable in a transmitter is not the way to do it if you're transferring a lot of files. If you're only transferring one or two things, like a couple of sounds or a couple of images, or just you know hooking up to companion, then well actually hooking up to companion you need to use the usb anyway but if you're just copying a couple of files then it makes sense just to plug in the usb but if you're doing big transfers like updates or the maps then you're definitely better off taking the sd card out and plugging it directly into your computer so we can see here using the old-fashioned usb or micro so we can see here using the old fashioned micro SD adapter in a, a pretty old basic laptop uh, is only three times slower roughly and using ooh, the modern USB-C adapter. So yeah, unless potentially a transmitter comes out with USB-C, which is USB free compatible, um, that might be as quick as using this, but anything else, take the SD card out, guys. It'll be a hell of a lot quicker, save you a lot of time. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like and subscribe and click the bell icon, it will also get this video out to more people so they can waste less time too. Thank you guys for watching. Fly your models like you stole them. I'll see you on the next one.